Alright, I've installed the SHP amplifier into this old Seaberg Sunstark, so I want to test it before I start recapping it. Uh, so I've basically I hooked it all up, but rather than plugging it in because it plugs in back there, I've plugged it into my uh, dim bulb tester. And what that is, uh, if you're looking, if you're, of course, if you're working on a Seaberg amp, you surely this is like the Bible you have to have. This is a uh, Tony Miller Seaberg SHP amp guide. And uh, back on page 40 of it, it talks about before applying the power ever to one of these, what you should uh, do and how to build this dim bulb tester and what it should be and how to attach speakers. And then it talks about the uh, bias adjuster. So anyway, bottom line is I'm going to test this and just see where it's at before I start putting on replacement capacitors. So, if I turn the switch, uh, the bulb should uh, get a little bit bright and then it should dim back down. We're also going to hear some sound from the speakers as this is firing up because this is an SHP. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, so I don't know if you saw that or not. I tried to put a cardboard box behind it so that you could actually uh, see it. I don't know if you can see the filament in there very well. This is a uh, 60 watt bulb. And the sound that you heard at the beginning is pretty normal. You'll hear a sound when an SHP turns on. Uh, and then the flash that you saw from the bulb in the beginning is when the, uh, it was taking the electricity up to charge the big capacitor. So right now, these capacitors, these big, uh, what is, these are like Mallory 3000s and uh, the big capacitors in here are all hot so don't touch anything don't do it but what this is telling me right now is that this is safe enough uh, because of the dim bulb tester because I didn't see anything else wrong with it to go ahead and, and actually turn it on and see if it will play music so I'm going to unplug it from there plug it into there and uh, yeah, this is a really old project box, but it, it does play, so we'll see what happens. Now, before I actually plug this in to the jukebox power and see if it works, I'm going to give it a couple minutes um, powering up through the dim bulb tester just to make sure that nothing smokes, uh, nothing smells funny. Because right now you're in there, the uh, capacitors are forming a bit. These capacitors have not had electricity going through them and uh, from what I can tell from the matador that I got them out of this out of uh, this hasn't been used in uh, many many years so kinda looking at it overall to see uh, if anything is smoking anything smells and just giving it a chance to have the capacitors uh, work like they're supposed to uh, they call it I don't know, reforming and I'm not sure if I'm using the term correctly here but basically there's uh, layers of foil inside of here and material and so uh, when they get old and haven't been used for a while um, putting them through a dim bulb tester like this kinda supposedly according to some people not everybody uh, helps get them back in shape before you put a load on them. Alright, so I'm trying to adjust the bias, or at least check the bias on this. Um, right now, I'm, I'm doing what the uh, information here says, is you put the positive on, negative touching that. I've got it on my 200 scale, and I'm getting zero. Okay, I'm no expert, alright? I'm just trying to learn as I go. If I read Tony's book, it talks about the quick adjusting method. Uh, the manual says, it's from the technician, is that you're supposed to get between 2 and 4 MV. And if I look on the side of this, it says between 4 and 8 MV, right there. So, um, because this is 2 to 4 and that's 4 to 8, I'm going to go ahead and set this, and I set it, so um, it should be right about 4. Mm, but, uh, 
four nine five. I'm gonna crank this back down so it's at four. Okay, I'm at three eight three nine on both of these. So that's as close as I'm gonna get. All right. I definitely want to. I don't want to go too high because uh, too high is not good. But uh, you want to get high enough in order to uh, balance out the bias. There it's going to four. All right, now I've taken a look at the whole amp. I've cleaned things, checked the boards. I did the dim bulb tester. Then I went and adjusted the bias per the manual. Now, for the very first time, I'm going to actually see if it will play music. And yes, this is an old, I have unrestored jukebox, so it's not supposed to sound good. It's just seeing if the amp will play. Yep. Music comes out of all four channels. 